Now the rain will be widespread. It will be very helpful as far as the uh, drought conditions are concerned. So we do want to bring Marielle in just to uh, let us know how much this is going to be helping us out some. Yeah, thanks, Greg. You talked about that beneficial rain and man, do we need it in some parts of Texas? This is our latest drought monitor and the worst of the drought is in the Texas Panhandle and in Central Texas, where we have exceptional levels of drought, especially just west of San Antonio and in Austin. Fortunately, looking at the Texas rainfall outlook, it looks like that's where we will see the highest rainfall. Now, there will be some flooding involved, but at least it catches us up or attempts to with the additional five to seven inches for areas of San Antonio, Austin and into the hill country, just into the big country and the panhandle less amounts between three to about five in some of those spots. Now there are flood watches in place actively in Texas. They extend from areas in the southeast like Houston towards our eastern counties. So that will be something to be watching if you are traveling in that direction. Three to four inches of rain have already accumulated just within the past 24 hours there. So DFW specifically, we've had just over a quarter of an inch. That's put us at a slow start for the month. We've had about an, an inch deficit 11 and a half inches so far for the year. So hopefully this rain much needed will catch up 